All right, so today I'm using KS Resin Liquid Art and parts A and B. Equal amounts, exactly. You mix it two minutes, then uh, make sure to scrape everything, fronts, sides, stick everything, and continue mixing two more minutes, so a total of four minutes. This is a really thick resin. And I'm going to do a tray and a wine glass holder bottle thing. And um, I had done another one that was, um, you know, just a regular shape and it kind of, to me, didn't, the shape was just a little not spaced out enough. And so I ordered a new set and they had two of these, the regular shape and this geode shape. I wanted to try this shape this time. I've made my own crushed glass and that was kind of a snafu. Uh, they were hot pink and when I heated them, some stayed pink and some turned kind of a coral color. So the quality of the glass may not have been as good as the last time that I purchased the glass pebbles. So anyway, I, I crushed them myself and then I added magenta alcohol ink and white alcohol ink to get this um, kind of bold hot pink color. I added a bunch of Martha Stewart Kunzite confetti which is multicolored and has a little of an iridescent shimmer to it and I also sprinkled in a bunch of extra fine glitter just from Michaels or somewhere it's called pink ice so I put some of that in there so I'm gonna add resin in here just to kind of make it all cohesive I'm gonna mix up white and I'm gonna put it, the white in a piping bag to do a little bit of that petal look, especially on this one, not so much on the uh, the wine holder. And for that, I am going to use Lares Angel White, just a tiny bit of it, and some Macro Pearl from Pearl X. And then I'm going to mix a pink color that's just going to be a mixture of the magenta and white until I get it to the color I want it. Or maybe I won't mix that color. I'm not sure yet. This is. Bling It by Color Art. Primary Elements and Bling It, a mixture of the two. Pink Parasol and Jasmine. Mixed just with a little vivid enamel because you want to see what the color is when it's wet so that when you put your resin in you can tell you know which direction it's going to go. And then I want, I've got Arteza Mica Powder. This is Ballerina Glow. It's kind of an iridescent shimmer. I've got some powder in there I'm going to add some resin to. And I may or may not mix any more pink. I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and separate out some. I'm going to put a couple of ounces maybe in this Ballerina Glow. So again, this is Arteza. Again, this is a really thick resin. It's heat resistant up to, I think, 475. So pretty darn heat resistant. So that's very shimmery and pretty. And I'm going to add to this color art, primary elements, and bling it. Make sure to get all that off the side of the cup. I drip so much, I'm just so messy. It's, it's hard not to be messy with resin, to be honest, for me. So with any of these mica powders or whatever, you got to really mix it in good. you got to make sure you look through and you can see that it's all mixed in. Scrape your stick a few times. Scrape around the edges. you got to really make sure to work it in. It's nice and bright, cheerful. So now I want to do my white. And for the white, I just want maybe, I don't know, an ounce or so of the white. Okay, so with the Angel White Lorenz, I just put the stick in 
and basically just wet the tip of the stick. It really doesn't even have much on the other side. So I'm not using a ton of it because I don't want it like so white white that it sinks. And I am going to sprinkle in a little macro pearl just to give it some shimmer. That's Pearl X. That looks pretty good. I also have some pretty um, just iridescent glitter. I'm going to put a little in that white just for the heck of it, just for fun to see if anything changes. It probably won't change anything, but just for fun. And then I also have some confetti glitter from probably Michaels. So that's going to go in the center and around the outskirts of the center of the wine holder. Maybe I will make a pink, but a pale pink. So I'm going to put, it's probably about two ounces. I'm going to take my alcohol ink and put one drop at a time to see what color it makes before I go very far at all. So that's like barely tinted. So I'm going to go maybe do two. And then if I want to make it a little opaque, I can put like a drop of white in to make it pale pink. But still a little translucent feeling. So I like that. It goes with the darker version. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to throw in a good amount of this extra fine glitter, get a little sparkle. Pretty good. It just helps your um, glass stay together easier when you're adding it around. And then I'm going to take another cup and put these confetti shards. They're kind of bigger pieces so we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to add some of that Martha Stewart Kunzite in there. It just kind of helps it stick together so it doesn't go flinging around when you're trying to Put it where you want it. Really want that to be more clear looking. That pink kunzite really pinked it up. So I may add some chunks on top of that. So we'll start with. Oh, that's pretty though. It's prettier when you get it out on the in the tray. Stick it around the edge of this in the middle.
Okay, so, you know, it moved a little bit, but it didn't do a whole lot in moving. So, I'm going to start with this piece. The wine. It goes over the wine bottle and holds two wine glasses. And it definitely came out very pink, which hopefully she will like. So that's very sparkly on that side. That's really cool looking. Or you can put it up and you have the dimensional side with a little bit of depth through it. So, not so much a fan of the back on this one, but it's meant to lay flat and this is meant to be the top. Love this in the middle. So, but this pretty much stayed the way I uh, kind of spread it out to blend some of the white into the pinks. And then you you know, you've got the sparkles in the glass, but it doesn't show up as much on the top side. It's still pretty. Really cool. So you can see the edges there. It's dimensional. And while I was, I had extra resin, I finished two glass tiles. Quite lovely. Two sets. Have the bloom technique and you see the dimension of the metallics. Really, really pretty. These were a couple of my favorites. So these are glass tiles uh, done with the bloom technique and then a couple of coats of resin. And I'll put corking on the back. So these will be in my Etsy shop. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the bell in the bottom right down here, down there, <laughs> to get notifications when I post new videos and check out all the links below the video. That's where I always put video descriptions, products I use, and that kind of thing. So I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.